Oh. <laughs> I was calling 911. Uh. Dude almost jumped up. Uh. Man. <laughs> Ooh. We almost lost a member. <laughs> you all right, Shaq? Hey. Are you, really, are you OK? <laughs> you all right? Welcome. Welcome You're to right? the NBA. Yeah, right, let's go. Hey, a uh, pair of game threes tonight at the field house and the grind house. Ooh. Come on, keep it going. Tonight on TNT, welcome to Atlanta Studio J. T TNT uh, Auto Trader present. Uh, I'm Charles Barkley, <laughs> Ernie oh Johnson, gosh. Kenny Jess. <laughs> Shaq is dying over here. We're talking oh. Cavs and Pacers. <laughs> yes, we are. We're talking <laughs> you Cavs and Pacers. That are you okay over there? Ah, I'm good now. <laughs> okay. Man. Yeah, he really had to be here just to see how he, <laughs> how he <laughs> recovered from it. I was choking America, and Ernie wasn't helping me. <laughs> <laughs> you see Ernie looking at me, I mean, America? I thought you were... Well, you think one of us going to give you mouth to mouth? <laughs> You no, know, the, the thing that I'm, the thing that always amazes me, <laughs> you know what, what always amazes me, Ernie, that people actually record it and nobody would help. So whoever was yeah. recording it actually just realized no. that it was serious. I didn't know. Uh, I just thought uh, it was coughing. Whoever was recording it was like, oh, this <laughs> is on TV. And That's then he coughs. That's kidding. And then he coughs and burps. Oh, As we come on the air. Come on, man. You know, Are you all right? Can, can we do the show now? Right? Yeah, I'm good. That was Live silly. TV. All right, so. Laugh now. Yeah, we are. So, later. I want to know about this. Uh, criticism or motivation when it comes to Paul George, who after game two was getting on Lance Stevenson. He said he's got to work on his body language and uh, has to control his emotions more. And this was, Lance was kind of uh, upset because Kevin Love was wearing him out down low on a, on a few possessions in a row. You find it interesting that Paul George would say somebody else has to Look at their body language after what you saw in game well, one, uh, Chuck. Paul George has disappointed me this after the update, the fundamental, just throwing his hands up and down after game one and criticizing ga guys after game two. Uh, you know, you have to wonder, is Paul George, is he in or out? Is he already planning his next move? But he hasn't been a good leader. Ernie, as the leader of a team, your job is to uplift the other guys. Like, Miles Turner has never been in this situation before. Yeah, he was another guy that, yeah. that, that Paul George targeted. Well, he was asked, what does Paul George need to do? And he said, well, Paul George needs to uh, establish himself down low, and, he, and he's got to, he's got to uh, take it to the next level at well, this point. But, but his job uh, as the leader of the team, your job is to uplift the other guys, Ernie. They're going to follow your lead. And your job, you know, me and Kenny talk all the time about coaching. Coach and Kenny and me and Kenny agree on this. A coach can't take your confidence. Uh, give you confidence. He can't give you confidence, but he can take your confidence. Take As the leader of a team or the other guys around you, he can't give you confidence, but they can take your confidence. And that's what uh, uh, Paul has been doing. Shaq, would you like to weigh in? Well, I've done both. I've, I've been able to look at guys, test them out. For example, Kenny's from New York, so I know he can take it. So, you know, a lot of times you have to talk hard to guys to get them to understand. At this particular moment, though, I think it's the wrong time to say that to the media. In the playoffs, down or two, this is the time for you to put, you know, Lance in the room and say, hey, I don't like your body language, bam, 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 bam. Mm -hmm. But I've done both. But Lance is a tough guy from New York. He could take it. A lot of guys I couldn't do that to. Like, I could never talk to Devin George like that or Travis Knight, guys like that. But, you know, I could talk to Kobe like that. I could talk to D-Wade like that. How about a, how about a kid like, like Miles Turner? Well, I don't know Miles. I, I mean, I don't know Miles. And, you, you know, uh, there's many ways to lead. You know, you lead by example. You know, you lead by, by soft love, by, by tough love. You know, I was a leader on many teams, and I had to use a variety of different ways to get my guys to perform. And, and Shaq has a, has a great point because, Ernie, I, I was a leader in Philly, and we had a bunch of – because I learned from Doc and Moses. And Doc told me when you become a leader, you're kind of like an amateur psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. Some guys need to be patted on the butt. Some guys need to be kicked in the butt. Like when I played with Mike, uh, excuse me, Rick Mahorn, Derek Smith, the late great Derek Smith, we can yell. When somebody yells at me, it makes me play better. Exactly. But I've asked to play with guys, you yell at them, they might start and crying. Our, here, here's, the, here's the thing I'll end, uh, I'll end it with is that if you talk to me like that, you better bring it.
If you come in next game and you over here giving 17 points and you screaming on what I should be doing and you're supposed to be the star player and you get 17 next game, yeah. me and you are going to have a conversation. Right. That's a That's fair point. exactly right. Cavs, Cavs and Pacers coming up. Um, we're glad that you made it through this last episode <laughs> that, that went like this. You don't see me choking, Ernie? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> That's just nasty. Come on, America! I said, excuse me, America! Come on, man! That's just nasty. You nasty, Shaq. You nasty. <laughs> Come on, man. You're so nasty. <laughs>